Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's Customer Spotlight session. Hope you've been enjoying day number two of Altitude with our exciting new product announcement around Better Cloud Discover. In this session, we'll be exploring how you can embrace digital workspaces without compromising data security. I'm excited to be joined by Dropbox and our mutual customer, Farm Journal. Time is the most valued currency these days, so I truly appreciate your time and attention to join us for the session today. My name is Shreya Sadalgi, and I have the privilege of serving as Better Cloud's Chief Business Strategy Officer. I'm responsible for all of our partnerships and our corporate strategy initiatives. Now, Dropbox is one of our most strategic partners. We actually unveiled this partnership a year ago at Altitude. This partnership is especially strategic because Better Cloud and Dropbox are both championing the cause, the same cause, enabling productivity in the enterprise through the use of best of breed SaaS applications. Now Dropbox is achieving it for end users with its smart workspace designed for an open ecosystem of SaaS applications. And Better Cloud is complementing that with its SaaS ops platform that provides automation and data security for IT. So let's get started and say hello to our panelists. Welcome David and welcome John. So let's start with some introductions. So could you tell us about uh, yourself, your company, your role, and a little bit on how your company is partnering with Better Cloud? We'll start with you, David, and then we'll go next with you, John. Uh, my name is David Stafford, and I'm the Senior Director of Solutions at Dropbox. Now, our team has the privilege of getting to be the product experts in terms of what all the capabilities are of Dropbox and how we've been making that shift from what was once cloud storage to collaboration to what we're doing today with creating a smart digital workspace for our customers. But we also get to be the ones that partner with our customers and make sure that what we're delivering is exactly what they need for the digital transformations that they're undertaking themselves. Um, I've been with the company now coming on six years and have been really part of that, uh, that whole move from Dropbox that we may know as a consumer company to Dropbox as an as a, uh, enterprise solution that our customers can count on. So it's been a real privilege to, to get to work with uh, Better Cloud. You mentioned just last year at Altitude, we announced how Dropbox and Better Cloud had, had partnered together. And we've helped countless numbers of customers be able to realize what the benefits are when you bring many of the advanced team and content controls that Better Cloud can help provide. When we bring that into the Dropbox portfolio in the heterogeneous mix of all the SaaS applications, the combinations and the power of that solution is limitless. So really excited to get to be here today and, and uh, you know, excited to be standing alongside, you know, a great customer here in, in John. So back to you. Yeah, thank you, David. Uh, that, was, that was great. How about you, John? Can you just tell us a bit about Farm Journal and what you do there? Yeah, my name is John McMillan. Um, I'm the Senior Director of Technology and Information Security over at Farm Journal. I'm located in our Chicago office. We have you know, several offices around the Midwest primarily and one in Philly. Um, we are the nation's uh, leading business information and media company serving the agricultural market. I like to say if you're in the agriculture market, you know who we are. And if you're not, you don't, because uh, we're, we're pretty big in our you know industry, but people outside agriculture don't really know who we are. We've been in business almost 150 years, 144 to be exact. Um, we have print, you know, we have uh, basically trade publications, TV shows, radio shows. Now we even do podcasts, uh, websites, uh, live events, conferences, trade shows, etc. cetera. Uh, and we have a couple of other things that are pretty interesting. We, we uh, Trust in Food is an initiative we have that is all about uh, conservation and agriculture. That's pretty, pretty exciting. And then we have a nonprofit uh, called Farm Journal Foundation as well. And part of that is about ed educating the younger generation through different events at, at colleges uh, to, to try to educate them about the farming and how food gets from the, the farms to the stores or to the restaurants and just to try to help the general uh, understanding of agriculture. So that's pretty interesting. And my job is basically my role is all the traditional IT infrastructure uh, and, and we've been focused on cloud over the last few years and I've been trying to modernize things here and, you know, basically focus on security, cloud, um, a reduced footprint so things are easier to secure and manage and 
I've been, uh, well, we've been a Dropbox customer for several years and Better Cloud is, is new to us. And, and I'm pretty excited to see, you know, how it will, will help us uh, improve not just our Dropbox experience, but some of our other SaaS apps as well. That's great. Um, and actually, it's very refreshing to talk to somebody, uh, you know, not in the traditional verticals that we usually sell to. And uh, agriculture is, is top of mind, as you said, like the farm to table experiences, especially, you know, nowadays, as we spend a lot of time at home, we actually get to spend <laughs> a lot of cycles to understand where food comes from and, and actually take a lot of more time into um, getting those ingredients. So it's just, this is super timely and amazing. So great, yep. great to know about your business, John. Thanks. Um, so I'll start with our first question um, to you, uh, David, okay. around just the term, the term digital workspace, right? It's, it's been around for many years, but Dropbox has redefined it last year with the announcement of your smart workspace product and, and category and it's been a year now, right? So can you tell us uh, what is a smart workspace and how does it actually solve the proliferation of SaaS and actually how has been the, what's been the momentum in the last one year? Yeah, that, that sounds a great, great place to start. You know, um, I've spent my entire career, um, you know, I, I began in 1994 at a chemical manufacturing company. I've spent my entire career focused on end user computing in some form or fashion. And it was 2010, it was a full decade ago that Gartner, uh, they actually cited that the number of SaaS applications and web-based delivery of applications was outnumbering traditional thick client. And you could have, you could have taken a, a moment right then and there and realized where we would be you know, here a, a decade later when it comes to all of the challenges that come with needing to weave together a fabric of infrastructure as a service, application as a service, platform as a service. When you're bringing all of these different cloud technologies together, what is the end user experience? And how are you going about securing that information? How are you bringing end user governance? How are you bringing data governance all together in being able to make sure that uh, the end users that are interfacing with a multitude of different systems with a total web that exists of connections between API calls from one application, exporting your data to another. All of that uh, was, was a greenfield problem space. And you know, we believe that Better Cloud really took, uh, took the, the opportunity to create a comprehensive solution for what customers were doing in needing to bring all of these different pieces together. Now, every one of Dropbox's customers is also a customer of either a Microsoft suite or a Google suite. Um, that, that goes without saying. But only a solution like Better Cloud is able to actually help bridge this uh, ecosystem divide, these walled gardens that would love to exist on their own islands, uh, these walled gardens. Better Cloud is what gives customers, hopefully like John, the confidence to being able to interface discrete individual SaaS applications, whether it be Dropbox or Slack or Zoom or all of the different partner uh, products that, that come together. So from the, the announcement a year ago, what we've been working with our customers on is how do you, instead of taking the traditional Dropbox approach, right? Dropbox, we were that consumer solution that people took to work with them. The individuals became work groups and the work groups became teams and the teams became entire companies. Better Cloud has a much more comprehensive view of the organization. They start with, we understand all of the organization, we understand all of the players and the people in the organization. And we look at those exchanges of what information is coming in from Gmail, going out on Dropbox. How are we able to protect the information and provide the right level of onboarding, offboarding controls that need to go along with how people uh, go through their customer journey with this, this proliferation of applications. So with Dropbox's smart workspace, having a, uh, having a collaboration platform and having a fabric that brings together a Google Doc that lives in Dropbox alongside a Slack channel that references that content alongside a Microsoft uh, you know, O365-based calendar, this has just been an absolute you know, match made in heaven that allows all of our customers to be able to have the controls they need, the purview that they need across multiple applications while still delivering on the promise of that integrated end user experience. And so, you know, we're just excited for what we're continuing to, to drive in the, in, the year, in the year ahead. That's great. 
Um, I'm curious, like, you know, what I've seen in the market is that, especially recently, a lot of other companies are taking a page from the Dropbox book, uh, which is, you know, coming up with their own um, terminology of workspace and, and yeah. naming their products actually workspace. So um, obviously, you know, you folks led that movement. I'm curious to see, like, how has attraction been just with the smart workspace, the actual product and how customers may be using it? It's a great question, and it follows that exact same um, evolution of, of customer value. Uh, we talked to so many customers that, you know what they love Dropbox for? They love us for storage. That was what brought them in, right? They got, the, they got the referral credit, a couple extra gigabytes for being able to sign up a friend. There is nothing wrong with cloud storage as a key part of, of a digital transformation, that having your information accessible by any SaaS application any cloud application across any device, that's, that's foundational. What we've seen with customers that are really embracing this move to a smart workspace mm -hmm. is that they recognize that the context shift between applications are costly and they're costly to productivity and they're costly to being able to get the work done. And so by Dropbox not being singularly focused on files living in folders, we now have Google Docs living in Dropbox. We now have Trello boards living in Dropbox. We even take you know, a, a link to any third-party application and allow the link to live in Dropbox. And by bringing all of that together into a smart workspace, what you now have is a central point of team collaboration and team, co team coordination across all of that. And so by being able to leverage both the new Dropbox application as well as all of these third-party integrations that tie together best of breed applications from Microsoft and Google, Trello. Um, we're very proud of our newest asset, which is HelloSign, and being able to bring e-signature workflows now right into the Dropbox experience. So anytime you're looking at something in a smart workspace, signature is now just one click away from being able to drive that workflow. It's eliminated those context switches and it's been able to bring people back the focus to the context and to the workflows that they've got in front of them. And we're just excited about, uh, you know, all the new products that we're, we're going to be launching ourselves in the, in the not too distant future. Great. Yeah, that is definitely um, decreasing the clutter, as they say, both mentally and visually for, for end users these days. Um, so I'll turn it to you, John. So would love to understand from, from your end user perspective and a customer perspective, like describe to us maybe what is your... IT setup look like in terms of what SaaS applications are being used and, and what your SaaS environment is? And, and then like what benefits have you seen with Dropbox? I mean, how long has it been, um, you know, being used in your environment? Sure. So we've been using Dropbox for several years uh, before a lot of these other SaaS apps were really, you know, prevalent. So we had it before we started using Office 365 as our you know, originally we just had email for exchange servers, like a lot of people. When we started doing Office 365 and sort of unlocked the full suite, uh, we, we did a pilot with, you know, uh, OneDrive and SharePoint and, and then even last year with Teams. And we just didn't really like it. We, we just, our users wanted Dropbox. So we, we primarily use Dropbox as our file sharing and collaboration suite. We haven't fully embraced yet the, the, the new digital workspace, but we are looking at it uh, definitely, you know, pretty seriously for next year, maybe. Um, we use Zoom, obviously, like everybody's using Zoom now. We, we've been using Zoom for a few years. Uh, we use Zoom also for, for their phone. Uh, their VoIP is actually really good. It's a great soft phone. And since we're, everybody already has Zoom already for meetings, it's, it's a great uh, tool. Uh, and then we have a lot of just sort of smaller sort of niche things for project management like Jira and, you know, different tools like that. A uh, little bit of Salesforce, uh, some Marketo for, for emails. So a lot of sort of more niche things, but our, our primary ones are definitely Dropbox, Zoom, and Office 365. And, you know, I'm, I'm looking at improving data governance and security like SOC 2 and ISO. And that's really what brought me to get seriously interested in, in better cloud and um, how it can help us with visibility into what's happening inside of uh, not just Dropbox, but those other uh, applications I mentioned. 
and just have better insight and control and management of what our users are actually doing in, in those systems. And, you know, our executives uh, are, are still, again, this is new, but that's something that they've been pushing me to, you know, focus on is how can, how can we, now that we've been using these tools, how can we get better at understanding what is going on inside of them and, and just have better accountability and management of everything going in there. And that, that's what I'm hoping better cloud will help us with. And, and, and it's nice to the other aspects about onboarding, offboarding users, you know, the automation around that is, is really powerful. And I'm looking forward to that and sort of the workflow of helping us with that. Cause we do have a small IT team here. So, so that's good, but really the DLP sort of portion of it is really what I'm, I'm focused on the most. Got it. That helps a lot. Um, I'm sure many of uh, folks, many of the folks, IT practitioners like you in the audience can relate to that in terms of how, you know, end user productivity and end user preference for their favorite SaaS tools really is, is taking the forefront these days, especially as the remote work era is, is uh, upon us. And, um, and I'd love to kind of double click, right, to understand more around what specific data security challenges you have predicted um, and you think may occur. And, you know, that's sort of like risk sure. mitigation is what you're looking to use better cloud for. Um, what are the kind of things that, that would potentially keep you up at night, John? Sure. Yeah, some of it uh, is, is around data protection, really, you know, uh, content and data. We, you know, like I said, we've been in business 144 years and uh, that's no, you know, small feat. And we've collected a lot of useful data throughout that time. And I want to make sure that that data is well protected. And, and if, if we have employees, you know, sharing that data between their teams and, and they're using Dropbox or, or 365 for that, that's fine. But I need to keep tabs on that. I need to make sure that it's not being shared too much externally. It, and who, you know, if it is shared with who and, and setting an expiration date on that and being able to, you know, rein that back in, you know, after the fact. So we, we just need more control over what people are doing internally with our content. And we do a lot of partnerships with some pretty big companies. Um, so we just need better insight into who's doing what with our content that lives in, in these systems. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, improve our security footprint and, and we're looking at SOC 2 and ISO like a lot of people that either have that or are striving for it. So part of it is also like the audit features. You know, we, we can get pretty good insight with the stock Dropbox, for example, but you have to really know what you're looking for. You know, you have, you, you can, you can query it and you can search it. But I, I think the advantage of a, a tool like better cloud is it lets me see at a higher level to, to start with, you know, Hey, here's some things that are being shared or, here's some PII we found in some of your files that you may not have realized. And, you know, it just gives you a, a lot of different angles to, to search and view things and then respond accordingly and, and perhaps tighten up our policies and procedures with the end users in our company and say, hey, you, you know, you need to be more careful with that. And here's a new policy to help pr prevent these types of things. Because, you know, I have to assume most of the time our employees are, are doing the best they can and not intentionally, you know, misusing <laughs> these systems, but you know, pretty much every company I've ever been at since the '90s, since I've been doing this, there's always going to be like that one employee that maybe is disgruntled and getting ready to leave, and you know, you have to account for that. You know, you have to protect the company, make sure that if if that happens, we have the tools to either prevent it or remediate it quickly, or at least audit what happened if in case there's any follow up you know, legal action or things like that. So we, we just wanna cover all bases and, and make sure that we're helping our end users uh, use these tools more smartly and carefully and, and then protect the company is, is kind of the, the main piece. You know, we wanna make sure our, our data is, is protected and not just sitting there for anybody to do, to do what they want with, you know, which is sometimes happens with some of these apps where you, you don't have this type of, you know, tool to help you see what, what's really happening. That's great. Um, yeah, I think like what you articulated is, is great just to summarize like auditability as to finding out what's happening in real time in terms of what employees are doing inside their files at a much more granular level. 
and then you know preventing exfiltration for when employees leave the company, right? So that's pretty much top of mind for many companies these days as are rapidly offboarding and rapidly onboarding as well. Mm-hmm. Um, um, David, I'm, I'm curious to hear from from your lens. Like you have the purview of of understanding customer needs and customer requirements well before they make these purchasing decisions. I'm curious, like in in the last again one year of uh, our partnership having gone live, like what have you what have you seen? And and maybe I'll just give the audience some more context around our strategic partnership that we announced a year ago at Altitude. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of it. It, this partnership revolved around two things, right? Involving a deep integration between our platforms that provides the advanced data protection orchestration functionality for Dropbox customers. And the second is that Dropbox is now globally reselling and distributing the better cloud for Dropbox functionality, which is called as Dropbox advanced team and content controls for faster adoption of, of Dropbox business. So with that lens in mind, I'm curious like David, like what have you heard or seen uh, from customers? Well, I think there, there was one other element, element I was listening for, Shreyas, that when we think back to a year ago and, and we think about you know, our, our time in Atlanta and, and Austin and, and all of those earliest conversations, um, how rewarding is it to have someone like John sitting with us here today? Because every one of those conversations wasn't based around what can we do together at a product level or what can we do together as a business level? It was what are our common customers coming to us and begging us in terms of the problems that they're trying to help solve. And you know, hearing, hearing John's story and that evolution from security to management to what he's hoping to get with analytics and insights, um, it maps perfectly to how we got to where we are you know, just one year later. And so um, it really is, it is people like John that, that drove this, uh, this partnership. It wasn't you know, just a smoky back room where people were, uh, you know, pontificating at a whiteboard, it, it was always very customer centric. Um, and so that's, that to me is what, you know, really the future holds for, for what we're going to be able to do together is, um, John hit it spot on. We, we do a great job at providing a collaboration platform. <laughs> when it comes to sharing files, nobody can share files better, quicker, faster. But what happens when you need to overlay that with advanced security, advanced management, advanced insights, the, uh, you know, the rogue employee, um, how do you get that, you know, that, that advanced intel around that information? And that's where Better Cloud and that partnership just really comes to, comes to life is you can't always just look at this. I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's like watching just the back door and we're making sure that nobody's walking out the back door with, the, with assets or information of, of the company. Better Cloud is providing that full 360 degree view of, of what's going in and out the email door, in and out the Salesforce, the CRM door, the, the Dropbox door, being able to have that level of visibility. And when we start to now layer onto that, this isn't just about being able to identify the PII uh, information or being able to identify um, you know, traditional DLP rules. Now we're actually starting to get you know, insights, insights around usage, insights around IT spend. Um, making sure that the people that are using these platforms are getting optimum value. We want to make sure that we're not providing, you know, only commodity value in, in trying to charge people a premium for that. We want to make sure that what you're, what you're getting out of the platform is exactly what you need and being, helped, uh, being helpful in, in prescribing prescriptive value paths uh, for customers to be able to move to that next order of, of maturity models. Um, you know, one thing that I know that we're working together on is, is identifying where people are and meeting them where they're at and also trying to help them get to that next level of optimization that they're seeking in, in their IT investments. Yeah, I mean, look, uh, I, I, this is sort of like a, that one year milestone where I would love to kind of high five and like have a big celebration between the Dropbox and yeah, exactly uh, what we can do these days. <laughs> uh, honestly, yeah, this was the, uh, the best thing that we could have hoped for. Um, and obviously we would have, Love to celebrate in person, but yeah, I can't be more excited about that. I mean, um, with with our new product, Better Cloud Discover, um, and of course the the need for serving multiple SaaS apps in a single smart workspace, uh, both of us uh, are imagining some new possibilities uh, between uh, the companies and the integration and partnership. So I, I can't um, be more excited to understand and and un- unveil that as we uh, go into the future. 
So um, I just like want to close it with uh, maybe one key takeaway that uh, each of you may have. So, you know, for the next 12 months, if, if you were to be in the audience's shoes, um, many IT practitioners, what would be one key takeaway that you would offer them for them to be like having a top of mind for the, for the next year, year of planning? Maybe John, maybe John, you go first. Well, yeah, I, I really think it's about, you know, the old uh, cliche, you know, work smarter, not harder. Like I said, we have a small team and a, a tool like this is almost essential because I just don't have the, the resources to go to Dropbox and then go to 365 and then go to Zoom and go to this and go to that and all these different apps one by one and use their sort of native tools to do the type of work we're trying to do and get, you know, so having a, a, a system like Better Cloud is, you know, going to going to allow us to just spend less time and getting more value, you know, getting more results, getting more insights and, and things we've been talking about here. So I really think it just kind of boils down to that, like how many systems do you have and how easy is it to manage them and, and get value from them and, and, and the protection as well. So I, I, to me, that's one of the, the, the big values is the, the t amount of time I hope to save and then the improved results and, and value from from that great david yeah i think when we look at the year ahead this is going to be uh you know dropbox just this past week we announced our virtual first initiative mm -hmm. um dropbox is converting all of our offices into drop-in studios now these won't be studios that will have desks these will be have collaborative co-working spaces where people come together but not a place that you go uh for solo work and so when I look at that year ahead, uh, the proliferation of SaaS and cloud-based applications, it's not coming, it's here, it's, it's upon us. The wave has already crashed ashore uh, when it comes to that, to that wave. Um, the idea that you're going to need to VPN in in order to access you know, on-premises applications, those on-premises applications are going to move to the cloud as quickly as they possibly can. Um, and they're going to need that connective fabric that John's alluding to. The, the, you know, you're not going to be able to hire an, an additional administrator for every new application. You're going to need to have the administrator of administrators that's going to be able to interface with each of their APIs, each of their security visibility management control APIs, and be able to coordinate that centrally. And so um, I think when we're, when we're together this time next year, that's really going to be the, the look back that we're going to be having is how we have managed to bring all of that, uh, all that collective, you know, SaaS groundswell that, that, that came upon us so rapidly. How are we managing that now as both a new normal? And then how do we start to, you know, reconcile and optimize those investments? Um, because right now I think a lot of people are, are very quick to, you know, add one more tool to the toolbox, import, migrate, whatever you need to from the on-premises. But there's going to need to be a reconciliation as well around how do we make sure that we're optimizing our utilization, our spend, um, and getting the most for our, our money when we do start to have more of the, the you know, on-premises as well as, as remote work uh, as we see it today. So can't wait to, uh, to be part of it and, and glad to be partners with uh, you and the team there at Better Cloud to, to make that happen for, for folks like John. Great. Uh, that's pretty spot on. And uh, the next year is going to be definitely interesting and look forward to meeting again, uh, hopefully in person in the future. And uh, I really, really appreciate your time, uh, John and David. Uh, super excited and honored to have you here. And thank you for sharing your time with the thousands of IT peers uh, in your community.